Hello, dear travelers. Today we'll take you on a tour of the town of Chapala. We will take you around the Malecon and show you what this wonderful town has to offer. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. If you're coming by bus, it's gonna stop you right here in the plaza of Chapala. So we made it to Chapala. The way that we got here, we are staying in Ajiji. We took a bus, Chapala, and it's just like a regular bus, has many stops, and it took about 15, 20 minutes to get here or so. If you see a plaza right here, that's a good way to start to go to the Malecon and explore the town, which we're gonna go show you right now. Let's go check this Chapala place. It smells really good here. I guess it's like a taco places here. You can see many local people eating in those restaurants. But we're gonna go explore the town because we have only one day here and we need to see everything. coffee shops here and very cool vibe feels much bigger than the Ajiji but still lay back close here you have the main church of Chapala and here in Chapala we notice a lot of police compared to Ajiji and Ajiji I didn't see not even a single police car and here since we arrived there is a lot of them there is a line here to take a picture so we patiently waited Everybody feeling good. So this is the Malecon area and you're gonna have a lot of restaurants right on the Malecon with a beautiful view of the lake. Your body, huh? They, they have the same ones in Guadalajara. Lake Chapala area, you can see much more local people, like more Mexican people. In the Ajijic, when we arrived, it was shocking how many expats you have there. Like everywhere you have Canadian. So it's completely different vibes. Here is like more, more Mexican feelings. Last drop. Lake. The lake? Maybe one day it's gonna run out and it's warning people. So behind us we have Lake Chapala, which is a volcanic crater. It's actually the largest fresh water body in all of Mexico. It's a little bit toxic to go in, so that's why you don't see too many people going in. Every now and then you do see people getting inside and fishing, but well, most of the time it's just empty. If you need to rent a place, you have right here in front of the lake this huge house one or two bedroom casitas including internet and conditioner and Netflix and here you go they're right on the malecon facing this beautiful lake view also you can see a pretty narrow street here we heard there is a problem with the parking here and that's why we took a bus and we didn't bring our car
You have some sculptors along the Malecon. That one looks like a wave. Oh, and we got some singers here. And birds. Now we're gonna go check the pier. Looks like it's a lot of people on the pier. Look at this cool sculpture here. It looks like uh, Roman soldiers with the Virgin. Cool place to take a picture. the pier over here you have a lot of boats that will take you to the uh, Alacranes Island which is the Scorpion Island or just a trip in the lake some of them are 700 pesos to go to the island of Alacranes the Scorpion Island and they will wait for you about 30 minutes we just checked if you want to stay on the island longer than 30 minutes like it's say one hour it's gonna be 1200 pesos so there is options right there there is a scorpion island People dancing. Woo -hoo! It is super busy here. Right now we're on a holiday. That thing is a holy week, and you see everybody coming in. It's just a Thursday today. It's a Thursday. Yeah, it is. Thursday, and it's very packed, and we're gonna show you everything. So over here, you are right next to the pier. There's a restaurant here, uh, parks here for the kids, a little a shopping area with a lot of tiendas. So very nice place here to hang out and spend the day. There are two chapala letters in this location. So one, you have it right by the restaurant, and another one at the beginning of the Malecon. So if one is too full, maybe walk to the other one to take your picture. Actually today it looks like both of them full because we have a lot of family with kids here and everybody want to snap a photo there. We have a cool skate park here. So it looks like they over here they do a lot of stuff for the young people. They put skate parks here, they did the same thing in Ahihi. Something to keep them busy and, and more uh, after school activities. And very cool decoration with the painting. Oh yeah, I love it. It's just so beautiful, the artwork they do. And even in the, even in the skate park, you have a really, really cool artwork. behind the skate park you will have some market looks like they have an artisan market with some uh, drinks there's plenty of activities for kids here I guess they're building it for uh, for the holidays This market is really huge. The restaurants in the market around is like unbelievable how big it is. Yeah, this is a nice uh, large malecon. Definitely bigger than a Hisuk malecon. I 
can see Malikon is right there and then across from it you have a huge market. So one of the things that we notice is you're gonna have a lot more people on the east side of the Malecon, east of the pier, and that's where you're gonna have a lot of parks, uh, restaurants, uh, people offering you drinks to go inside the restaurants, and it's one of the things that you're gonna find here in Mexico that's different from the states is that in, when you go to the states if you want to go to a restaurant you just walk in over here when you go to most tourist places they're gonna have a person that's gonna be offering you drinks to bring you inside the restaurant so on that side you're gonna have a lot of them offering you to go into their restaurant for the drinks but if you want more quiet you also have the west side of the malecon you have a few restaurants here a little bit more quiet not a lot of people walking around this area so you can enjoy so that's one of the things that you must know if you're planning to move to make a move here to the mexico that's one of the difference you're gonna have a lot of people vendors bringing you into the restaurants and it's just something that you can just say no gracias and walk on you can definitely see that side is much emptier more for the peaceful wall while on this side you do have music people dancing and food and everything like a life party you choose where you like to be more or be like us try both and enjoy both ways so that way you have the malecon and we're gonna walk around in the main street to see what we find like Chapala it's uh, much bigger compared to Ajijic that we are staying and for people that like shopping and just uh, like uh, areas to walk around for like uh, restaurants and just like bigger city that place is highly recommended either way both of them both, both of the towns close to each other it's 20 minutes uh, distance by bus so you should definitely visit both There is a bike lane right here in the middle of the main street. It is a really cool place. I really like to walk here. You have everything that you need here, all type of shoppings. the chicken place that they have a huge line always it comes the whole chicken with potato salad and another salad for 185 pesos well this place is so good that you need to wait like 30 minutes because they don't have no chicken ready and I guess we're just gonna keep walking and look for some other places to explore The tacos are really, really good. I'm trying right now the pastor and it's delicious. All right, you guys, know? so it looks like we reached our end of our video here in Chapala. Thank you so much for joining us here today. This is a nice town to go for a visit, to spend the day. You have the lake, you have the Malecon, a lot of restaurants. Main street with a lot of shoppings here, like really cool street. So it's a nice getaway if you're in Guadalajara or if you're in Ajiji to come and shop around and spend the day. Um, so thank you so much for being with us. If you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures. And we'll see you on the next one.